Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP memory and ABAP memory and in the previous video, we understood the concept of SAP memory and ABAP memory and we covered the various points related to that. Now in this video, what we will do, we will start with the practical part of SAP memory. We will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement using SAP memory. Anyways, the same to same requirement I took as a part of ALV. When we cover the ALV topic, there is a dedicated playlist for ALV. There we have videos for hot spot click. Now we are taking same to same requirement. But when I covered as a part of ALV playlist, at that time, we simply achieved the requirement, but we don't know what is SAP memory, why we have done that particular part. So we will go into full detailed explanation here. We will achieve the requirement using SAP memory with full explanation. So what is the requirement? I will go for same to same program, which I developed. And in that, we have the hotspot functionality of ALV. Anyways, if you do not have this program, no problem. I will simply paste in the description of this particular video. You can copy paste and you can start with the practical part of SAP memory. So if you don't have no problem, there's no dependency on ALV playlist. But if you already have Anyways, it's a very good point at that point of time. It's a good point. Now, now what we will do now, what is the requirement? Suppose I'm running this particular ALV report. I will give the input, suppose sales order number one to five. You can see the sales document number is coming in the form of hotspot click because we set the property hotspot click is equal to capital X. Hotspot is equal to capital X. Now, what is the requirement? Customer is saying, whenever user will click onto any of the sales order, it should navigate to VA03 transaction code. Suppose I'm clicking onto sales order number five. It is going to VA03 transaction code. Up to that level, no memory concept will come into picture. See, as of now, 5 is coming. Forget about that part. Now, from this particular program, from this particular ALV program, we want to call VA03. No problem. You can simply, simply call the transaction VA03. Now, the requirement from the customer is whatever the sales order number user is clicking whatever the sales order number customer is clicking it should display into or it should go to va03 transaction code now you need to pass the values from your program you need to pass the values from your program to va03 transaction code then at that point of time, yes, memory concept will come into the picture. Because from one program, you need to pass. And in another program, you need to get that particular value. From this program, we need to set the value. And in VA03 transaction code, we need to get the value. Yes, if we are simply calling VA03, the memory concept will never, never come into picture because we do not want to pass the values. Now we need to pass the value of sales order from this program to VA03 transaction code. It means from our program, we need to set and in SAP transaction code, it needs to be get. That's why this five, this five should come here. Now, what we will do, we'll start with the practical part based upon that. Now, the first question comes, we need to go for SAP memory or we need to go for a BAP memory. The simple, just recall the concept which we covered in the previous video. At what time 
we need to go for SAP memory. Whenever we want to fill the input fields on the screens, we need to go for SAP memory. Are we filling the input fields on the screen? Yes, we are filling the input field on the screen. So most frequent use of SAP memory is to fill the input fields on the screen. So we will go for SAP memory and you all know we will go for set and get because what are the commands or what are the statements we need to set and we need to get. So in this program, we will set in this program, whatever our ALB program is in this program, we will set and in VA03 transaction code, we will get. Anyways, we will not get SAP has already written the logic, but I will show you that how SAP is getting. Now, what we will do, we'll start with the practical. Firstly, see how, how we will do. I will go to VA03 transaction code. Now, if I want to see the technical information of this, because ultimately you need to pass the value here. You need to pass the value here. So firstly, we will see the technical information. But I will do function plus F1. Now, I will simply go to technical information. Now, you can see for this VBELN, we have this particular data element. Now you already have a memory ID. You can see the memory ID from here also. Or you, what you can do, you can double click on to data element. Now you can see if you double click on to data element and you are going for further characteristics, here also you are able to see this parameter ID, parameter ID. It means we will pass the value we will set the values, we will set the value to this parameter ID and in VA03, SAP will get the value from this particular parameter ID. So how, how we will write the code for the same. So what I will do, I will go to our program. I will comment everything and we will write from the scratch. Previously, we have written, but at that time, we do not have the knowledge of SAP memory and ABAP memory. Now, but I will, I'll just firstly show you in that debugging mode. I'm just putting a breakpoint. I'm going for exit. Suppose I'm giving the input 1 to 5. You all know whenever you will click on to this, whenever you will click on to this any of the record, user command will trigger. And you can see we have a subroutine for the user command. Now in this user command, if I will run, now if I will go for input, whenever I am clicking on to any of the record, user command will trigger. We will check the value of r underscore ucom. You can see the r underscore ucom is this. Anyways, the if condition is already written because we have so many things. Because I am taking the same to same ALV program. Whenever we will click here also, at that time also user command will trigger. So we have to write the logic based upon if statement. You can see. We have a if statement for display r underscore u form is equal to display. Now, whenever we are clicking, then at that time r underscore u form is this. Now, now whenever user will click on to that, whenever user will click on to the value of sales order number, we need to set the value because you want to pass the value to VA03. It means here in this program, you need to set so that in VA03, it should be get because this is our requirement. Now, what is the syntax? I will write set parameter ID. Just now I showed you, yes, in the data element, what is the parameter ID? A U N. Just now I showed you the parameter ID is A U N. Now we need to pass the value to this parameter ID. Whatever the sales order number we are clicking, 
that value we need to set into this parameter id so how i will set the syntax is field field and now i am using this because in this we are getting the value of the sales order number on which we are clicking i'll show you in that debugging mode that in this we will get the value of sales order number i will just put a breakpoint i will give the input suppose i am clicking on to any of the sales order number in this user command subroutine yes anyways that is all about alb knowledge you can see in this user command we have a using rs cell field and in this rs cell field value value you are getting the value of sales order number so what we are doing we are simply simply passing the value we are simply passing the sales order number to this particular parameter id we are setting the value of sales order number into this particular parameter id now we will simply call the transaction because now you set the value so after that you can call the transaction firstly do not call the transaction because if transaction will call first after that if you are setting the value there is no meaning at all firstly you need to set the value then you can simply call the transaction now i will call the transaction call transaction va03 please put va03 in capital i saw so many people put va0 va in small and they are saying that transaction is not calling please put in capital i am activating now if i will simply run this if i will give the input whenever i am clicking you can see this five appeared here and why why it appeared because we set the value into the memory id now the question comes into everyone why you set but we have not written the like logic for the get then how this five is coming here because sap has because this is sap written program this is sap transaction code va03 it means sap has written the logic for the get also anyways in the next video we will see in the debugging mode now the next important point people ask so many times yes now we are going for this order number 5 is coming here now after that i need to press enter suppose if i go suppose i will go for any other sales order number okay i'll just go for another sales order number suppose now what the people are saying the sales order number sales order number is coming here suppose i am going for input 1 to 5 sales order number is coming here no problem okay suppose five sales order number has a problem suppose 171 is the sales order number 171 sales order number is coming here but i need to press enter to go inside the sales order is it possible that we can directly go to the inner screen yes it is also also possible suppose simple example you can simply write you are calling that transaction va03 and just write some additional thing and skip initial screen or you can say skip first screen many times people ask this and customer also say i why i am pressing enter i want to go to the inner screen directly i'll just run this and show you suppose i will go for 171 because other sales order number has a problem i am executing you can see if i will click here 171 and that now i now i'm not on the initial screen i am directly into the inner screen so this is the way how you can do you can simply write and skip initial screen so what is the summary of this particular video in this video so many important points covered because now we know sap memory 
So what is the first point? We took the requirement. Anyways, requirement is same to same. What is the requirement? Whenever user will click on to any of the sales order, it should navigate to VA03. Up to that level, no problem. You can simply, simply go to call the transaction VA03. But customer is saying, whatever the sales order number I'm clicking, it should be, it should go to VA03. That's why we are going for memory ID. That's why we are going for SAP memory. Now the question comes, you need to achieve this requirement through SAP memory or ABAP memory. We already studied in the previous video. Whenever you want to fill the values on the screen field, especially in the SAP transaction course, you should always, always prefer the SAP memory. Now we all know whenever we are going for SAP memory, we need to use set parameter ID and get parameter ID. So we have written the logic. We have written set parameter ID because in this program, you need to set. Now the question comes, where I can check the parameter ID? Simple. Do the technical information of that particular field. Suppose if I will go for VA02 or VA03, do the technical information. You will be able to see the parameter ID. Yours, you can simply double click on to data element. In the data element, further characteristics, you have the option of the parameter ID. So what we did, we have written the logic set parameter ID, name of the parameter ID, and with the help of field, you are passing the value to that parameter ID. So we saw in the debugging mode, in this, we have the value of the value of the sales order number. Now, after setting, we are calling the particular transaction. Then we did the additional part because people are saying for customer definitely ask for this that I want to directly go into in that I want to directly go into the inside of PA03. Then in that case, you can simply write and skip first three. Next video is extremely important. Why it is extremely important? Because we are only setting. Because people now will think you are setting where is the get because without get how values are coming into the VA03 transaction code. In the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode and huge learning will be there in the next video also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.